Hi everyone, my name is Evan Uitre. My project is on Joseph McCarthy and McCarthyism. Joseph Raymond McCarthy was an American politician born on November 14, 1908 in Grand Cube, Wisconsin. McCarthy served as a Republican U.S. Senator for the state of Wisconsin from 1947 until his death in 1957. During the late 1940s and early 1950s, the prospect of communist subversion both nationally and internationally was frightening to many people in the United States. The threat of the rise of communism in the United States during this time period was often referred to as the Red Scare. For years, McCarthy spent his time trying to expose communists and other loyalty risk in the United States government. McCarthy rose to prominence in February 1950 after a speech given in Wheeling, West Virginia. During the speech, he claimed to have known hundreds of members of the Communist Party in which were working and shaping policy in the State Department. McCarthy proved unable to produce the name of at least one of these individuals in any department after being testified before the Senate Committee on Foreign Relations. Nonetheless, McCarthy's support increased for his campaign. To his supporters, he was a loyal patriot and guardian of Americanism. Others believed him to be a reckless, self-seeking individual who was diminishing the country's practice of civil liberties. This picture of Senator McCarthy smiling for the camera displays a newspaper advertisement that proclaims McCarthyism is treason for America. According to Wisconsin Public Radio and WPR.org, the communist expansion in Eastern Europe and Korea, as well as the conviction of Alger Hiss, encouraged American anxiety about the future. McCarthy capitalized on this fear to launch his campaign to eliminate the alleged communist infiltration of the American government. McCarthy's accusations prompt the Senate to form a special committee. They did not find much evidence to substantiate McCarthy's charges, but McCarthy continued his campaign. In 1952, McCarthy was re-elected and obtained the chairmanship of the Committee on Government Operations of the State and of its Permanent Subcommittee on Investigation. McCarthy began conducting various investigations against government departments, questioning witnesses of their suspected communist affiliation. No evidence was found against these individuals, but the defamation resulting from the investigation caused humiliation, for forcing many to leave their jobs. His accusations, McCarthy took his accusations too far in 1954 when he accused the U.S. attorney of harboring communists. The subsequent hearings, popularly known as the Army McCarthy hearings exposed McCarthy's reckless, recklessness and bullying tactics. It also led to McCarthy's reputation being tarnished. McCarthyism, name given to the period of time in American history that saw Senator Joseph McCarthy produce a series of investigations and hearings during the 1950s, an effort to expose supposed communist infiltration of various areas of the United States government. The term has since become a byname for defamation of character or reputation by means of widely publicized and discriminate allegations, especially on the basis of unsubstantiated charges. McCarthyism jeopardized justice because it is the practice of making accusations of subversion or treason without proper regard for evidence, which isn't fair. It put the government in a position to carry out unconstitutional practices. It displayed one of the United States' worst times regarding justice because during this time, hundreds of Americans were accused of being 
communist or communist sympathizers. These innocent individuals became the subject of aggressive investigations and questioning before other government officials, committees, and agencies, not to mention the entire world. These targets were government employees themselves. Some worked in the entertainment industry, some were working for academics, and others were labor union activists. In the United States, we strongly believe every person accused of a crime should have their guilt or innocence determined by a fair and effective legal process. By definition, this proves McCarthy's entire investigation to be unfair due to the lack of evidence. The significance of the McCarthyism era is how fair and power were abused to implement a series of detrimental behavior within the United States government. The internal downfall not only ruined the lives of innocent people, but also created a steeper wedge between the parties and departments within the government and its citizens. Today we use this era as a lesson, and we now know the correct way of determining guilt, innocence, and justice for all.